So this is a video about the technique and uh, some updates of the technique. What's very important is that uh, we like to start from a posterior aspect and we start from uh, the supraclavicular area and start with neuralizing the suprascapular nerve and we always do the transverse ligament section. And then we move to infraclavicular exposition and I like to start with the retroparacoid dissection. Uh, what's very important there is that you have to remove the retroparacoid uh, bursa. Then you expose the axillary artery, the radial nerve, which is really close to the axillary artery, and the axillary nerve. The axillary nerve is really close to the subscap. It's the most posterior nerve from this uh, view. And the radial nerve is coming right uh, anterior from that. And you can dissect until the division of the posterior cord into axillary and radial nerve. Then you can dissect the subscapular nerves and artery. The artery, the subscapular artery, must be the inferior limit of the dissection. Then medially, you will see the medial cord and you can expose and start the dissection there. Once the retrocoracoid dissection is complete, we will move to the retropectoral space and then work in front of the coracoid. And uh, what's different now from before is that I like to use endoscopic scissors for the dissection. And when there are bands and fibrous tissue, I uh, like to uh, do ligatures and I use clips. And I can uh, cut all the fibrous bands and vessels uh, with those scissors. And then uh, from there, anteriorly from the plexus bracket, uh, bracket plexus, we can expose the posterior and lateral cord and release them and then uh, move medially and uh, expose the medial cord. Uh, it's always possible to perform a more medial approach, almost in the way of uh, the thorax, and uh, have a good uh, exposition and uh, release of the medial cord. Then the uh, next step is to uh, perform a release of the pec major nerve, which is most of the time involved in the pectoralis area pain. Then we resect the sub uh, clavicular muscle and perform the first supraclavicular portal. Uh, I prefer to ligate the transverse cervical vessel because uh, I'm afraid to damage them while I continue my dissection. And uh, still using the endoscopic scissors, I cut the transverse cervical vessels and move on to releasing the interscalinic plexus, uh, complete the dissection of the suprascapular nerve, and then move more proximal and more proximal perform a second supraclavicular portal uh, and uh, continue the dissection uh, between uh, the scalenus muscles. And uh, it's possible to release very far. Uh, and in this case, I'm showing you the release that is going as far as the carotid, the artery area. Uh, 